Listen, I've built a lot of simple zombie-proof designs before, but this may be the easiest and the simplest. No way! G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and welcome back to Zawoodle Park, my base building and testing world, where I've come back because there's a very important part of my bedrock base, my underground base over here, there's a very important part of that missing. That being a way for me to get in and out of the bloody place. If I can't get in safe and sound, well, it's not very, not very useful base, it isn't. I'll get smooshed at the bottom, just like the zombies do. So I've come back today to build an entryway to get down to where I fight the zombies, all the way down here. I've got some plans in mind, I've got some ideas that I want to tinker with and see what I can do. But before I do that, there has been some updates to 7 days since I built this thing that have changed some of the ways that the zombies think. So I think I need to re-evaluate how this works, get that working properly again, then I can build the zombie-proof base entry, and it should be a good time. So the thing I need to address with this is that the zombie pathing, this is actually pointed out to me in the comments from the last video on this, the zombie pathing can only go one way to get to. So if you're a above them, for example, they'll only go up to your level. They won't go up above you, then drop back down. Same goes when you're underneath them down on bedrock. They won't go up to then go back down. They only have a one-track mind. They will only go down to your level, which means what I've got here, where it goes from the... <laughs> there goes my leg. Where it goes from the level of the ground, I was asking them to go up to then go back down. And that was a source of a lot of the issues that I had. So the first step to renovating my underground base before I build the entryway is to fix this, tr admittedly drop everything down a level, which means I have to break everything and rebuild it, which sucks, but drop everything down a level so it's indented into the ground. So there's no, there's no two ways about it. There's no up and down, there's no concave, no speed bumps, just easy zombie access going to use my block replacement tool, which I'm still getting used to, but it seems to be working out pretty okay. Get rid of all of you, get rid of all the stairs, all the blocks up the top that are, are the support for half this stuff. And also, yeah, all the ramps on the inside, down to that one, you, you, and you. Okay, it's all gone, it's all done. I think I want to build basically exactly the same thing, but just sink it one block down below. So, once again, I'll go to that one there, I'll dig a little divot on this side, go to there, and replace all of that with air as well. There we go. Got a little, got a little sinkhole going on, just so it's nice and smooth and the zombies don't have any hurdles to get over. There we go. Doesn't look like much, but it is now flat as attack along the deck here, so they can cruise on up like that and slip right in like they're an ibis going in the dumpster, nice and easily. Just want to build the same thing again, where I have those narrow wedge ship blocks sloping down like a zombie little hatch storm. All the other things I've tried just haven't worked. I think it's better just to stay with the thing we know works. Works for sure. No use breaking a design that we know works well. So we'll get the narrows. Start with the wedge tips at the top. Go on face and chuck you directly onto there so that you're a nice slippery slide. Like a super fun happy slide in a vampire's den. Not going to mess about with this at all. There was an entire video dedicated to well, testing things and discovering that this kind of method was the right way to go. It's just narrow wedges starting from the tip all the way down to the fattest boy down the bottom. The zombies see that as a path they could walk on but they can't grip onto it. It's too steep for them. It's like the zombie proof walls of old back in like alpha 17 and 18, and I think 19 before they finally got rid of them. It's like the old zombie proof walls, but a little bit slippery out, which is fine by me. So that's just gonna send them all the way down to the bottom nice and easily. I'll quickly give it a test run to make sure it works the way I want to. Always double check your work, show your workings out in the margins. But before I can do that, I've gotta make sure it's nice and red. Oh, and I can still fly. Things are gonna be red where I can see where the zombies are going. Nice. Okay, that's looking nice and lovely. I'll quickly chuck my body at the bottom of the pits. Uh, yeah, let's put it straight back into my little horde base over here. May as well test it where I'm going to be as opposed to just sitting myself at the bottom of the cavity and hoping for the best. Quickly chuck you there. Quickly whiz on over to a horde knight and see what the horde knight zombies do. Wherever they're gonna be, you're gonna come charge my way. I bloody hope so anyway. Uh, please? No? Oh, yep, here we go. <laughs> they just spawned a little bit further away than I was anticipating, but that's fine. All my lanterns are broken, so I can't see anything. They're cruising up, straight in, straight down, without even blinking their zombified eyes. Easy as, easy as. They're falling down the bottom like you spilled your Skittles in your satchel. Perfect. Lovely. 
It still works the same, but it's just a little bit smoother. I'm happy with that. That's a success. One thing I do want to test before I move on to the base entry, a way to get down there that the zombies can't use, but I can. I do want to quickly have a little look-see at... What was it called again? It was called... Yeah, the door trim one meter double. So this was suggested to me by Primate Games uh, back in the first video as an easy way to get the zombies to do what I wanted to. They'd walk over to this like it's a colander and slip on through. But by the time I finally got around to building the bloody thing, it had already been patched out. At least that was my understanding. But perhaps with this sunken design where there's not the topsy-turvy roller, uh, roller coaster? Roller coaster of zombie pathing. Maybe this will work a bit better this time around. So I'll whack you in. I'll leave the ramps on the side just in case. Most because I'm lazy and don't want to break it all down just to rebuild it later. But I'll whack these little pipes on. See how the zombies react and see if this is even better. Chuck in the last one there. I have left the ramps on either side i was considering getting rid of just the top part just the narrowest bit so it's the slots all the way along but just having it like this should be enough for me to see how it goes i'll track my body at the bottom directly in the middle so the piling is the easiest i'm ever going to ask of it quickly look out here and let's just get a bunch of zombie arlenes let's go radiator because they're fast and dangerous and all sorts of things although not particularly observant there you go there you go come this way Mmm, nah, no dice. No dice at all. In fact, it's even made the rest of the design considerably worse. Before, they'd have gone down easy as, but now it's all blocked off. They're like, yeah, bloody nah, mate. All right, fair play then, Cobbert. Never bloody mind. I'll uh, sort it out. So that's a shame. I thought this was going to work in this design. Turns out not. I'll get rid of them and move on. What I'm going to do as well while I'm thinking about it, I've, like, I've got these hatches over here so I have a retractable way. If I want the zombies to get corralled and penned in like they're about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wyatt Earp, I can remove those hatches and keep the zombies down here and rinse them with an M60 or something should I want to. Or throw grenades in the Molotovs or whatever I damn well please. But... I mean, we know that that works, that's fine, but I kind of want an easier route for the zombies to take. Want to remove any sort of variables that might get in the way of zombie pathing. So I'm just going to chuck in a couple of stairs on either side here. They're not removable like the hatches were, but that's okay. Just so that when they do fall down here, nice and easy pathing out, nice and easy rather, pathing out, much simpler, much more simpler design and less reliant on my battery power or whatnot. So, with that though, what am I going to do for a, uh, an entryway to this place? Because my original idea was to have something over here so that I could come down from the surface. The zombies wouldn't follow me. Their only option was down the big chutes over here and I'd be nice and safe. And actually, hang on. I was considering doing like a like kind of like a toilet U-bend kind of thing. Some way to trick the zombies into thinking there wasn't actually a path that way. But... If the zombies don't want to do the roller coaster, they don't want to go up to go down. Does that mean that we can make something really simplistic? Simple is always better. Keep it simple, stupid, and just trick the zombies into thinking there's not a viable path there. Oh. If okay, if what if what works, if what ha I have in my head works, this is gonna be the dumbest, the most simplest zombie-proof design I could ever think of. This might be stupidly simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dig myself... <laughs> I forgot there was a second wall outside of my little cabin over here. Because I wanted the aesthetic of the nice desert walls. It looks nice in here. Aesthetics always matter. But what I'm going to do is ruin those aesthetics and quickly dig just a little tunnel out the back over this way. So this place still stays nice and secure and whatnot. But a little bit further away. I don't want to go too far. Because I do have like the zombie force field builds and stuff out this way. Just go a little bit out this way. And then... If I just go from there directly to the top, all the way to the top, to about here, is that... Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to chuck, uh, chuck in a ladder, that one then. Quickly whack you down that way. I'm going to replace all those blocks with ladder blocks. So it's a nice straight des uh, well, build all the way down to where I am down below. All blocks of the same type. Um, I need you no not m that one 
There we go. Concrete ladder round. If I replace all that with ladders, then just stop the zombies thinking it's a path. That should work, right? There we go. That's just one big line of ladders all the way down to the bottom. Just for safety though, we still have the two blocks missing at the bottom. Standard practice for ladders. Zombies can't jump onto a ladder two blocks above them, but you and I can, even with zero level parkour. So that makes that nice and easy. But at the top, so if we're applying the same principles, right? The same theory that we had before. If I just grab this, this can't work. No, this is silly. Okay, I will test it anyway just to, just to see what the zombies do. But the theory is if they don't want to go up to go down, they should bypass this completely and go over to the chute, right? That doesn't seem like it would work, but we'll see how it goes. I'll put myself back down into my little horde base down here. So there's nothing blocking the zombies. Nothing at all. It's open air all the way from the surface down to my spine. We'll see what the zombies do with it though. We'll go all the way through to right about there and actually grab a couple of lanterns so we can see what the hell is going on up on the surface. Grab you. Chuck those around. Any zombies coming? Knock, knock. Who's there? I'm ready and waiting. There you are. Surely not. <laughs> so. No way. So that works. One block. One block is all you need. Listen, I've built a lot of simple zombie proof designs before. But this may be the easiest and the simplest. No way. I feel cheap. I feel like I'm cheating somehow. That shouldn't be the case. Well, well, there you go. I'm slowly dying down below, but there you go. There is the simplest, easiest zombie-proof underground horde base entry that you can build. One block up, ladders all the way down. Bonza, mate. Done and dusted. I love that that works even without a hatch or anything. There's nothing there. It's oxygen all the way down. Bloody a sniffle could get to me down. I could catch a cold, but I can't catch hands from a zombie. That's ridiculous. So, okay, that's with me standing at the horde base though. What happens? Because we were having issues originally with this design where if you're too far away from the big shoot, if the Sarlacc pit is too far in the distance, the zombies won't drop down. So I'll move my body a little bit further back just to there and we'll see if we can go again like that. There we go. Now I'm expecting, I'm expecting them to ignore that, which they are, and come over and try and dig for me. This is the ultimate test of this though. If they'd rather dig... Fuck off! What? What? So they would rather dig their own hole all the way down to me rather than jump up one block. I am gonna put out this, this out there. I'm expecting this, if it's that simple, I'm expecting this to get patched out relatively quickly by the fun pimps whenever they see this video. So get on this while you can and pay attention to any patch notes. So yeah, they, they just will, will not, they will not go up to go back down. That's a pretty blanket rule that I think we can have some fun with. I won't lie. This feels dirty. This I, I feel I feel filthy about this. Of all the things I've built, this is probably the biggest slap in the face of the pathfinding. If I do path it out though, oh sorry, patch it out, they might just add like a stipulation that zombies like can go up one or two blocks to then go down, which just means we just have to build it taller. That's not that much of a problem so far, but we'll see how they handle it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love it when a dumb idea just works so bleeding well. I don't know how we can improve that though. How can you improve on something so simplistic and so effective? It's just so good. So maybe that makes underground bases viable again. Like we know that zombies will just dig, but if you can account for that, then that's fine. So you're going to build yourself an entryway. You just jack it up a block and... Your riders rain. Easy peasy lemon squeezy off to the races like a stallion. Well, okay. I, I still have the problem where if I'm too far back in here, the zombies choose to dig rather than taking the route. But that's actually not that much of a problem because if you consider how the zombies are thinking here, if I needed a place to live, like if I needed like an actual crafting base like my workstations and forges and whatnot i could either just make it like a double story here build a room up above because the zombies won't ever go to that to get to me they're only going to take the hole as long as i'm close by it or you could build yourself like a donut base like i did back in 
Alpha 18, I think it was, where I built my base around the suit in the middle. I think, personally, I'd just go a double-story one, build a room up above to actually live in and fight the horde down below. Because this is, like, yeah, it takes a lot of digging, but it's as effective as it's going to get. How could you not love it? I wonder how ingrained this mechanic is in the zombie's brain. So, like, for example, if I'm trying to stop them from digging down, right... Can I now build effectively invisible walls where I don't want the zombies to go? So if they're coming over to here to tunnel down directly on top of me when I'm standing too far back in my base, if I don't want them to do that, can I just like whack down a cheeky wall, just one block high around there because they're thinking they have to get down to me. Will they then not cross that barrier? That's very, I mean, but like, it makes sense. Like within the rules of what we think we've discovered about the zombie brains, I think that makes sense in their, uh, in their thought patterns. So we'll chuck down a, just a little, a little invisible wall just around here. Just one block. You know, it's the threat of a wall that keeps them out as opposed to anything actually impeding them. Just like this, all the way up to here. So basically like building an outline of my base down below that the zombies dare not cross i'm so stoked that i'm still i'm just all smiley and happy about how well that turned out i always brace myself for well, a relatively long day of testing things trials and tribulations to see what was going to work and what wasn't going to work answer a bunch of questions about how things can play out and then i accidentally discovered the simplest solution in about four seconds flat uh, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so bleeding stonkered with that one. Okay, let's see how that will go. So I think uh, like one or two things is going to happen here. Either they're going to come up to the, one well, of three things actually. One is they might just completely ignore the blocks completely and jump over it. Though that would be a very surprising result and make me question a lot of what we found out already today. The other thing is they might just get to like this line here, the side of the wall and start tunneling down. Kind of depends on where the zombies come from. I'm most curious if they spawn over there if they'll charge past the hole to try and dig down. But the thing I'm hoping for, the thing I'm kind of expecting, is that potentially, because they can't get directly on top of me, they might try to get to the hole. They might see this as a more viable option if they can't just do their normal tunneling routine. So I'll chuck me meat sack down here, get back up to the top, and spawn in some zombies. Where are you guys? Where are you going to come from this time? Go after 2200, so it's a good and proper horde. Where are you, lads? Chuck down some lanterns so I can see what the hell is going on while I'm at it. You go there too, and you go there too. So they're all spawning in from this side, which is interesting. It makes them running to the hole a little bit less likely, but we'll see what happens. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So is that because... Okay, that's not quite the death sentence I was expecting. So they're jumping over it, not because they're parthing that way, but because they've got to a block. You saw them reach out and smear their noses like a zombified meat crayon, smear themselves against the concrete, and then just jump. It wasn't so much a parthing jump, it was a I'm stuck jump. So sim uh, the same kind of thing as what you see when it gets stuck on cactuses and stuff. So that's not quite, I mean, it didn't solve the problem, but it didn't get rid of our solution either. I'm okay with that. I think that might actually be, like, it still works for the, like, the ladder, so that they won't go over the ladder to path down. It's an important distinction about how the zombies are pathing, as opposed to them just trying to unstuck themselves. But because they acted that way, I'm pretty confident that I couldn't just build a bigger wall. The problem here is that there's a wall in the way. It's that there's, their pathing is telling them to get to this spot. They'd break through the walls here before they went to the chute over there. So that kind of puts a nail in this idea's coffin. Is there another way we could use this, though? I just want to find a way that they're always going to use the shoot. But given they've got super sledgehammer hands now, they can dig their way down here so much faster that even just running over to them, not an option for them. I suppose it's not actually like a really bad idea just to chuck a cheeky hatch down on the top of the ladder here. Because even though the zombies won't actively path to the ladder, you probably still don't want a rando zombie, just a regular wanderer, to accidentally jump up there and fall down that ladder. That'd be a rather rude surprise down the bottom if that happened to you. So there's something to keep it nice and airtight. That's just smart cricket. Hmm... How do I fix this? Or do I even need to fix this, really? Like I was saying, if you just built, like, a room above, that would be perfectly viable, because you got all of this space, from, like, these doors all the way back to here. 
That's plenty of room, plus all the way around the circumference of the, uh, of the drain as well. That's plenty of room. You're gonna need more than that. Come on, what are you building? Some kind of catacomb down here? You can build it all you want. Just be smart about it. I wonder if the same kind of thing applies like at the bottom down here. I was trying to think of a way of potentially getting the zombies to see this as a more viable path. So ignore digging completely and think there's a perfect good path over there. Apparently they'll ignore the ladder that goes directly to my face, but there's a perfect good path over there. Maybe we can take that. And I was thinking that maybe they don't see that because the ridge down here is sheltered underneath an overhang, yeah? So maybe potentially building like a little pylon in the center of the drop here might be a better option. But potentially it's going to work the same way because if they're up on top of this pylon, they're not going to want to go down to then go up to get to me. It's kind of the same rule as before, but inverted. We'll see how we go. In fact, real quick, we'll just see if that one works out fine. Grab a couple of Arlene's. Chuck. Don't know why you spawned on top of me, Noggin, but all right then. Quickly get rid of his. Just delete my mistakes and we'll try again. Couple of Arlene's over there. So if I get your AI on... That was kind of curious. They decided to dig there for a second before they just yeeted themselves off the off the edge. So, what are you two doing? All right, there are some weird things happening. If you start mucking about with zombie elevation, apparently they just lose their goddamn minds. Because half the time they're not reacting in any way I thought they would. Well, this might just have to be a shorter episode than normal because there wasn't really much experimentation to do. We found the correct answer straight away. I'm still having an iron about how to get them to always take the funnel instead of trying to dig. Mm, uh, maybe potentially seeking that whole apparatus one block further down so they go down before they get to the pathing. That might work. In fact, I'll give it a try. Why not? Just give it all of this and sink it a little bit further. It's worth a crack at the very least. But yeah, I, I can't really think of any better way. If you guys can think of a better way to get them to consistently use this all the time, regardless of how far away uh, far away I am, I'm all ears and mostly eyes as well. But I don't think in the current build of seven days, I don't think there's a way to consistently get that to happen. Not in a foolproof or mupper proof way, at least. Yeah, listen. Not only do I not like how this looks, it looks a little bit too sunk and I don't really like the aesthetics of it, but I also don't think it's going to work out that well. It's the same thing. Is one block going to be that magical kind of solution? Is sinking any further? Sorry, dart traps. Sinking any further will just mean that I, it won't work for how it was before because it'll be too far down and the zombies won't pass through it anyway. So we'll see how this one goes. Let's quickly whack on the horde knight all the way through to about there. There we go. Let the zombies come. Chuck down the lantern so I can see what happens to them. Are they coming out? Or are they, oh, yep, there they go. No! Ah, shit. Okay. Well, I think it may just be beyond what we can do right now. If the zombies are so determined to be super smart structural engineers with the blueprints for the world, with their automatic auger hands, they're going to decide to dig. Because what? It's only like 20 blocks away. They'd rather dig through the world rather than drop through an easy access chute. Yes, they probably die, but that'd be okay. Hmm. That's a little bit upsetting, but it is what it is, I suppose. That's the way the zombies think, and there's not much I can do to change that. I'm still stoked about this, though. Okay, that's all right. Even though we didn't get a success at the end, <laughs> the, the zombie, the easiest zombie-proof underground base entry you'll ever bloody make was a rousing success. I think I'm going to have to leave this episode here. There are some other things I want to add to the underground base, specifically where you fight the zombies as well, just to give you a bit of reprieve and a little bit of extra control over what these uh, uh, zombies are doing. So I'll have to come back, build that extra addition to the underground base, and then I think it might be time to put this place through some um, more rigorous tests than we have before, but I'm going to leave that open-ended and let you imagine what it might be. But I'll have to come back and build some additions in the next episode because this very short episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like lot, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.